quizzes are an integral part of Edmodo and, and one of the really amazing features. Uh, they started off fairly simply about six months ago and now they've added all of this functionality. So we're going to be looking at um, how to create quizzes, how to edit quizzes and how to actually send them to your students. Um, after that we're actually going to have a look at polls and produce one. So we'll start off with quizzes. You basically you'll notice across the post buttons here, click the quiz button and you've got two options. You can either load a previously created quiz and I'll have a few here and you'll basically see you can just click in there and resend that. But we're actually going to create a quiz today. So I've clicked the create quiz button put in a, a name for what it is, time limit. That's really important. You would give the kids a certain amount of time to complete that. Um, put in here what the quiz is about. And then start adding questions. Now, you've got multiple choice, true, false, short answer, or fill in the blank questions. Now I'll do a multiple choice to start off with and this is just a quick is the quiz and then A could be great, B good. You can add responses here and I think it's up to about six or seven responses. Good, um, okay and then the final one we can say is bad. So then you just add your response. But before we do that, you can actually remove this answer at any time. You also need to click which one it is. So let's say good is the um, correct answer. Add your response. And you'll notice up here you get a question one. Now you can add the next question. Another feature which is really good with Edmodo is you can load previously written questions. So there's like a bit of a um, bank of questions. So I have quite a few here. I'm just going to put a true false question in there. And you'll notice that then we have two. I'll load one more just to um, do that in a large file. That'll do. Basically these are the questions. Now in the quiz options over here you can either, I'd recommend that you show the results to the kids and this is a really good one. You can actually randomize the questions. This is very new so that all of the questions, um, each student gets a, a different question, first, second, third. All right, now we're actually going to assign the quiz. So first of all, preview it, have a look at what it looks like. And you can see there's a few errors here. So that's great that that's actually happened because then we can actually look at, okay, we need to remove that. So straight away, then preview again. And you can start the quiz. So you'll see here, I'll click good, go to the next question. Click that and the final one and that's it. So then as a student I would submit, click yes and then this basically will give me my results. In the preview it won't show that. So that's the quiz. now. If you want to give a quiz, you can actually now print that quiz up and actually give that to your kids. So we're actually going to go back to the home page and back into quizzes. And so we'll load a previously made quiz, hospitality term one. And at the bottom here, you can actually put the date that it needs to be done by. You can add it to the grade book and it basically depends on how you run your um, classroom. Then you can actually send it now 
and this is the class that we're actually going to send it to or schedule. Now the schedule you can choose the day and I would recommend you don't run it too far ahead of time but you can actually organize it ahead of time and the actual time that it's going to start. So I'm going to close that. Now the next thing I'm going to show you is how to set up a poll. We'll actually move to the teacher one. So you can set up a poll and the question, how was your holiday? Because here in Australia we're still on holiday. And again, great, but you can add anything you like. Good. Add an answer. Not long enough. <laughs> or bad. Now again you can send now or you can schedule and you can actually send it to multiple groups. So I'll just show you what it looks like. And basically when you come up you can actually click on this and you vote and we'll start to get a couple of votes and percentages of great, good, bad. So thank you very much for listening. We have extra tutorials on YouTube and also SchoolTube.